Don't worry. I'll watch over him. Goodbye, Sarah. It's time for me to face the future. Rest well. Please, I've had enough of the circus. Just a child. Could it have died here? That's a nasty drop. More gargoyles. I feel like they're always watching me. This gate is shut tight. What could be so important inside? What a strange device. I wonder what it controls. Doesn't seem to be working. I must need power first. There's a hexagonal hole at this pipe junction. Hmm. Looks like quite a fall. That's the courtyard down there. This structure is set apart from the rest of the asylum. Whoever built this place loves ominous stone figures. This clock is running counterclockwise. The time is one o'clock and the alarm is set to eight. A radio. Wonder if I can get any news from the outside world. the world mourns as children who successfully responded to the hope drug begin to die. Stern looking fellow? Where do I know him from? Impressive, isn't it? Yes. The artist really captured his strength in this pose. I'd introduce you to him, but he's, um, visiting my mother. She's been feeling run down lately, so my father thought it best that she get some rest at the clinic. I guess we should be going. We don't, uh... Jacob! I wasn't expecting you. I assumed with finals coming up next week that you'd be spending your time in the library. Instead, I find you here, wasting valuable time. I've more than prepared for the finals, father. You needn't be concerned. I'll do just fine. You'll do just fine? Fine. Is that your goal? I thought I taught you better than that. Anyone can do fine. I don't want you to be just like every other student at medical school turns out. Remain focused on what is important, Jacob. Yes, Father. What does it mean? Huh, a pipe valve. Strange thing to hide behind a painting. Pipe valve. Well, let's see. 
see if that accomplished anything. What a strange device. I wonder what it controls. It seems that the rotating electromagnet is linked to the stone weight. But what is the machine's purpose? Interesting. Oh my god, it looks like a slaughterhouse. Here, let me help you. Such an idiot. Patience is the key, Max. Never let the problem get the better of you. You know, I wasn't always this brilliant. <laughs> I don't believe you. Oh, I used to botch my lab tests constantly. But I stuck with it and learned from my mistakes. You're my brightest student, Max. And you have the most potential out of all your classmates. Now come on, we still have a lot of work to do. I wish I understood. There's blood everywhere. Who would butcher these people like this? Oh God, it's terrible. How could anyone describe such atrocities so, so clinically? Local authorities are becoming increasingly suspicious of events here at the asylum. To ensure that my research continues unabated, I must rewrite the locking code for the back lab and move the subject's bodies down to the crematorium before the sheriff arrives for an inspection. The chalkboards must also be washed clean, for they contain the encrypted codes... Hey, Dr. To... Morgan, uh, yeah, we looked everywhere, but we ain't been able to find them. What? That's the third time this week! Uh, but I mean, uh, I mean, maybe... Spare me your insight. You're pathetic. A man cannot vanish into <laughs> Both of you, get this wretch out of here. He's too damn old for my purposes. As for our missing patient, I'll find him myself. Yeah, but what about this stuff? Uh, shouldn't we ought to clean up here? I mean, before the inspection, I mean... I'm uh, aware of it. We'll take care of this mess after we find him. This isn't working. There's some kind of electronic security system on this door. Uh. 
I have a feeling there's a message hidden in this rambling mess. I stand at a crossroads. Shall I venture forth to unravel the mysteries that lurk beneath the mundane flesh? Or turn back in fear of what I may find? At times I feel as though the weight of the world rests upon my weary shoulders. Lacking any sense of direction, I have blindly followed in the footsteps of those who walked before me. Valiant, though my intentions may have been, I was powerless to stem the tide of insanity that washed against the shores of the asylum. Although conventional medicine has yielded a few encouraging results, I see no indication that an answer will be found using those methods. The time for conservative medicine has passed, and a new approach is necessary. Outside of the mainstream, with scalpel in hand and hope in my heart, I now prepare to tread upon the virgin soil of the mind. No longer bound by the archaic standards of traditional medicine, I feel reborn. Aha! Uh -huh. I have a feeling there's a message hidden in this rambling mess. Experiments 1 and 2 were complete failures. Unexpected complications during my exploration into the brains of the test subjects regrettably cost them their lives. The loss of a few lives is negligible when compared to the benefits that a cure may bring. Obviously, I was in air when I thought the root of insanity grew from the brain itself. Housed elsewhere within the complex frame of the human body lies the key, but where? There are so many dark avenues to explore that I hardly know where to begin. Humbled by this daunting task, I need time to regroup before I renew my search for this elusive prey. Years of research have taught me to be patient, else all could be lost in a reckless pursuit for the solution. I have a feeling there's a message hidden in this rambling mess. I search in vain for the elusive solution to this, a most intriguing puzzle. Evading me the way a mouse does a cat, the source of insanity remains hidden from me. Darting from flesh to muscle, muscle to bone, and back again to the fortress of the mind, this evil seems always to maintain one step ahead of me. How can I trap what I cannot see? Surely I am close to the source by now. Eventually, it must rest, and when it does, I will be there to ensnare this beast. Once removed from its host, I am confident that it will wither and die like the weed that it is. Knowing now how difficult it is to find this hidden monster, I am led to believe that the age of my test subjects may be a factor. Younger subjects tend to display less evidence of infection. The madness is so entrenched within the aged frames of my older subjects that it is nearly impossible to discern the sane tissue from the insane. Youth hides the key to salvation.
Youth hides the key to salvation. This must be confusing to you, even frightening. But this work is going to help so many people. Sick people. People with no hope. No! No! Calm down. You're going to hurt yourself. Those straps can hold a man twice your strength. good bug is a dead one. <laughs> this thing has some kind of mechanical harness. This is truly the mother of all evil. Is this all the body of a single beast? Ah, a heap of disgusting insect eggs. <laughs> Wearing this harness, perhaps they'll think I'm one of them. It's worth a try. ID confirmed. Drone Guard Class, Sector 7. Proceed. The only good bug is a dead one. not permitted within the Queen's Chamber. Entry denied. Crap. I could barely see the ground through all the clouds. This building appears to have served some special function. I'd better be careful on these paths. It's a long way down. This monster is also half-machine. It's some kind of alien child with two eyes and two arms. The insect is performing a grotesque experiment, putting bits of machinery into the child. Ugh, I can hardly stand to look at these beasts. A handsome young Cyclops. I hope he can help me. By the Makers! Grimwall! You're Grimwall! But what are you doing here? Why have you returned to us? I thought Gromna had everything under control. Grimwall? Is that my name? I don't remember much. Just waking up in this hive and having to battle a few insectoids. I had to use this strange device that I found on the large one just to pass their security forces. It's an ID harness. Gron built them for the insectoids since they lost their sight. With that on, you look like another bug to them. That's why they're not swarming all over you. Look, my name is Graven. We need to talk more. But until the work slows down, I'm stuck here. Afterwards, I'm going back to my pod. We can meet there. My pod's globe code is Grenasser. Use it if you need to get in there for anything. Some kind of scanning unit. 
An insectoid pincher. The edges are sharp. This rotates. Goes here. Okay, now. A large hut. Looks like someone's living quarters. Password. Grap. Entry denied. A small hut. A defense mechanism for Greven's pod. Password. Grenasir. Enter. The heater. It's alive. Wonder if Graven has any good crystals. And now, our breaking story this evening. During a helicopter sweep in the search for another missing child in the troubled remote community of Warrendale, authorities were startled to discover what appears to be a gigantic insect hive attached to Mount Cytaria, close to the ancient mechanical ruins. Details are sketchy at this point, but some sources have estimated that the visible portion of the hive is only a small part of the greater whole. More details on this breaking story as it develops. In an attempt to halt the infestation of the insect horde that is sweeping across our nation, leading entomologist Gromna will lead a team to infiltrate and examine the ever-growing hive. When asked why he was risking his own life on this mission, Gromna simply replied that he was willing to sacrifice anything to stop the infestation. When he heard the news, President Agris said, Gromna is truly a great man, and we all wish him much success. Today, the nation breathed collective sigh of relief as word from Grom that finally reached our closest outpost to the hive. Gone for months and presumed dead, it turns out that Gromna's team is not only alive, but they have found a method to slow the horde's infestation. Remaining near the hive, the team will continue their research in an attempt to stop the horde. Hi, Graven. I guess you're not in. He must be out helping Brahma save the world or something. I just wanted to tell you that I love you. And I miss you. And I really look forward to you coming back to me soon. Goodbye, sweetheart. I'm too busy to talk now. The couriers are delivering embers from the furnace at a fantastic rate. I'll meet you later at my pod when they shut the furnace down. If they shut the furnace down. Who are you? Insect talk. Cyberhead technician. What is your function? To integrate cybernetic enhancements to the flesh. Who designed these robotics? Gromna, honorable assistant to Her Majesty. Heaven's tools. A sledgehammer should come in handy. The glow from within must be some large fire. Insectoids abominable furnace. They're 
they're dropping Cyclopean babies into the furnace. Ugh, I can hardly stand to look at these beasts. <laughs> this insect is hooked up to a machine, and the levers must control the furnace. Hmm, this pipe has been fixed recently, though not too well. The bellows. They are used to fan the flames of the infernal machine. Who are you? <laughs> Furnace operator. Why did you ask? Dog drone. Why are you here? I'm here to uh, inspect the furnace. It's been suitably repaired. But if Her Majesty needs confirmation, then go ahead and get on with it. Just stay out of the way. We're very busy. What is your function? To regulate the flow of air to the furnace. What is the purpose of this furnace? Are you testing my knowledge? Very well. This is the main power supply of the hive. It was built by Gromna himself. It maintains the temperature of the queen's chambers and also is used to smelt the raw ember into a highly concentrated power source. Where does the ember come from? We found deposits of it within the mountain while we were tunneling our way up to the surface. When Gromna joined our cause, he recognized it as a possible power source for cybernetics, if reduced to its purest form. How do you regulate the temperature? It's very complicated. You'd need to be at least the level of operator to understand it. And you are still merely a drone guard. How do I become an operator? An ambitious drone. You are far too young to even be considered for it. I have served the Queen for generations. With age comes respect and station. What about those bellows over there? The assigned drones pump the bellows regulating the flow of airs into the furnace. Through that, we control the flames that are used to smelt the ember. Are those Cyclopean children being thrown in? Don't be alarmed. According to Gramna, they won't pollute the ember. Where do they come from? And why burn them? Does this investigation require me to explain everything to you, Drone? It's a convenient way to dispose of their sickening little bodies once the queen is through with them. Granted, the ashes and smell can be a bit nauseating, but one gets used to them after a while. A sledgehammer should come in handy. With that bug gone, I can reach the controls. I'll shut down this abominable furnace. The mechanized arm survived the fire. Hmm. I wonder if it can be used against the beasts. Hmm. This is more complex than I imagined. There appear to be many controls, all interrelated.
genocide today, monsters. No more embers will be delivered now. I'm certain I'll find Graven resting in his pod. There you are. I was beginning to get worried. I thought something terrible might happen to you at the furnace. Especially since your memory is gone. No, I don't remember much of anything. I wouldn't even know my own name if you hadn't told me. Every Cyclopean child knows the name of Grimwall. You're the great hero of the War of the One. War of the One? Can you tell me about it? Oh my. You are confused, aren't you? <clears throat> the War of the One was a pivotal point in the history of our people. For years, we had fought the Insectoids, neither side gaining ground as the planet was ravaged by countless battles. The Makers, creators of all and of nothing, watched silently for many years before taking action. They spoke to the leaders of both sides through grand visions, declaring that there was to be one final battle for supremacy. The victor would rule the planet, and the defeated race would be forced underground, never to return to the surface again. We won? Yes! Thanks to you, you destroyed nearly a third of the troops, all by yourself! If we won, then why are these things back above ground? No one really knows. Actually, no one really believed the story of the War of the One, or thought that there were any insectoids. Until now. That evil machine will be silent for a while. Evil? It's just a furnace, isn't it? The thing was burning children, Graven. Cyclopean children. What? But how can this be? Gromna would never allow such a thing to happen. Gromna? That's the name the bugs were using at the furnace. They said he's giving the orders to burn the children's bodies. That's absurd. He's my mentor. A brilliant entomologist. He'd never... Ento... what? Entomologist. He's our foremost specialist on insects. That's why the Peace Council chose him for this mission. Mission? What mission? What the hell is going on here? We were sent here to examine this hive a few months ago. We were captured, but Gromna convinced the Queen to put aside her plans of conquest and negotiate a peace treaty. Since then, it's been peaceful for both sides. In fact, tomorrow is the day that both leaders will meet to sign the treaty. I tell you it's true, Robin. Something is terribly wrong here, and I think that this Gromna person is somehow involved. You must help me. I'm sorry, but I can't. Not unless you have some physical proof to back up these wild accusations. Very well. If proof is what you want, then that's what you'll get. Take my advice. That harness you're wearing won't get you past every security device. You might want to see the cyber technician for an upgrade. like an operating table. Who designed these robotics? Grumna! Honorable Assistant to Her Majesty! Where is he? He is within the Queen's chambers. Since it is the Eve of Retribution, there is much preparation required. His plan must be executed perfectly. When do you speak of? Your memory banks must be fluctuating. Gromna has seen the error of his kind's ways, and has come to aid us in our desire for revenge. With his gift of cybernetics, we shall once again rule the surface. How will this gift aid us 
Are we not mighty enough to conquer the Cyclops without them? Without the speed of cybernetics, we would be vulnerable to the nuclear fire which the enemy controls. Incinerated before we even reach the city. But with the aid of cybernetics, we will be swarming within the walls of the capital before their hands can even reach the launch button. The dawn will bring the age of the insectoid. It is inevitable. Eve of retribution? Are your memory pathways in need of service? The Eve of retribution is known by us all. As of tomorrow, we will return to our rightful position as the dominating race of the planet. Under the guise of peace, we shall collect a debt that has been unpaid for decades. I require my ID harness to be upgraded. Upon whose authorization will I grant this procedure? Um... You delay in your response. I am busy. Return when you can produce the proper authorization. great machine of some sort. Its size alone speaks of untold power. Strange. They seem to mark an entrance to nowhere. requires authorization to upgrade my ID harness. Who can do that? Normally, Gromna is the only one who can authorize such upgrades. But with the increased activity in the Queen's Chambers, he remains there almost exclusively. I think we can fool Chick Talk if I make my position sound important enough. What should I say? Tell him that your authorization comes from Graben, protege of Gromna, honorable assistant to Her Majesty. That should do it. I require my ID harness to be upgraded. Upon whose authorization will I grant this procedure? Graven, protege of Gromna, honorable assistant to Her Majesty. Graven, hold while I search my databanks for confirmation. My records indicate that Graven is the assistant to Gromna. However, his authorization alone is not enough. I will need to verify that you are of sufficient age to be placed within the Royal Guard. Proceed to Link Scanner for positive age identification. The furnace operator's mechanical limb. Requirements verified. Upgrade authorized. Step forward to have ID harness upgraded. Prepare for upgrade treatment. Treatment? What treatment? A treatment. They found a way to slow down the disease. It says here that a Dr. Morgan was ultimately responsible for developing the DNAV treatment. Didn't you study with the Dr. Morgan back in med school? I was still a sophomore when he earned his doctorate. Well, the treatment's called HOPE. It's supposed to decelerate the growth of the DNAV, almost doubling the lifespan of affected children. The Aztecs found a way to survive the plague of Quetzalcoatl without conventional modern medicine. Well, hey, if Morgan is close to a cure, 
a true cure, then maybe he can use another set of hands. Maybe it's time to pack up here and go home. Dizzy. Can't... concentrate. <sighs> An insectoid pincher. The edges are sharp. Are Cyclops babies? No. <laughs> Dr. Morgan? What test is this? Ah, Max. You're just in time. This is a test of the subject's threshold. The serum will travel directly to the neurotransmitters of the brain and without actually harming the monkey, cause it to feel excruciating pain all over its body. What? That's not an experiment! It's torture! What possible purpose- When you outrank me in lab years, Max, you can question the methods. I see the potential fruits of our research, and that justifies the means. A valuable lesson in scientific research, Max. In layman's terms, you can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs. Concentrate! Oh, no. <sighs> this Cyclops is half bug. Who are you? Grit Gritza. Gritza? Yes, that's my name, Game Claim. Where are you from? From Dum. Where are you from? From Team Reem. Team? What team is that? Search. Research team. Sent to examine insectoids. Gramna, the leader. The betrayer. Gromna? He was your leader and betrayer? How did he betray you? Betrayer? He did this to me. My body. Not Cyclops anymore. Half beast. His experiments left me off for. I am a freak now! What has he done to you? What experiments? His quest wants to live forever. See insects as the answer. What? I don't understand what answer. What are you doing here? My duty to the Queen. What duty is that? To tend the young ones. They are fragile children. So young. Bottles of joy. These bottles have children in them? Clones, grumners, pests. An insectoid pincher. No. Cyclops baby in a bottle. Atrocity! 
If allowed to mature, these violent sectoid grubs would overrun the world. I brought you the proof you asked for, Graven. Are you going to help me? By the Makers. Yes, of course. I suppose we should search Gromna's pod. Come on, I have his globe code. I've seen your fellow team members in the Queen's Chambers. Gromna has interchanged their lower bodies with insectoid anatomy. What? I haven't seen them since. We must save them! I'm sorry, Graven, but their minds are gone. It's too late. May the Makers preserve their souls. What's the globe code, Graven? Immortal. That's the word to unlock the door. Password. Immortal. Enter. What are those? They appear to be schematics of some kind. Judging by the shape and general mass, I'd say they were diagrams of the Great Machine. Great Machine? What's that? It's the huge round piece of machinery that sits on the edge of the hive. Some say it was left there by the Makers themselves. Others think that it's a power source of some type. It used to emit a weird humming noise, but now it remains silent. Hmm... What? According to these notes, two parts may have been removed to aid the insectoids. I need to visit the Great Machine and see for myself. These designs... I do not understand them. Gromless notes. They say that a sound generator will open the worm transport tube. Mutilated grubs. What is Gromna doing with them? Gromna is clearly insane. When the two species are merged, a kind of super metabolism is possible. A locked cabinet. I suspect that the traitor keeps something important within. Grap, a locked cabinet. Graven's tools. Now what? This pillow appears to be rather lumpy. Aha! A key. seems to be generating an odd sound. Have you figured out the purpose of the machine? Part of it. But I need time to properly study it. Gromna has removed two pieces from it. Generators of some kind. I need to attach the missing pieces to get the machine running again. Unfortunately, only Gromna knows where they are.
This would appear to be the worm transport tube mentioned in Gromner's schematics. I'll burn all of these grubs before I leave here. A Must I pass through the bowels of the monster? He's got an insectoid body. Who are you? I am Gr Grundle, and you you are I am Grimwall. G Gr Grimwall the hero Too late to sa save us now, hero. Where are you from? R research team. Sent to investigate the insect toids. Sent by who? C Council of Peace sent us to s stop the p plague of insectoids. Plague? You mean the insects were going to take over the cities below? Yes. Uh, and until Gromna came up with his plan. You mean the peace treaty? <laughs> peace treaty? <laughs> Hell no! He's helping the bu the bugs get stronger with those cybernetics. They're g going to attack the during the meeting for the treaty. What? I must warn the council before it's too late. Already. Already too l late. Too, too, too far away from the city. Our poor people are doomed. Ramna is a traitor! Traitor and a butcher. He d d did this to to me. Said he didn't w didn't want me to run run away. S s said I s stay here forever. What are you doing here? I. F Feed the clones. These aren't real children? R real enough for the queen to, to feed on. By the makers! The m m makers cannot help. cannot help us now. This is truly the mother of all evil. Children in cages! Everything I see in this place enrages me more! The grubs make noise. For what purpose? Even the doorway is blocked by a living wall of worms. These grubs are making some kind of faint noise. I wonder... Ugh.
little Cyclops' children. What a horrible fate! This looks like part of the great machine, but I can't move it. I need something to stop this machine. Only then can I disengage and remove it. She's half bug, but she still seems aware as a cyclops. Who are you? Gorilla. I'm surprised to see another cyclops in the hive. Especially in the Queen's chambers. You seem familiar to me. Do I know you? I am Grimwall. The Grimwall of the war? But how can this be? It must be a sign from the Makers. Where are you from? The city, of course. I was part of Grona's research team. Before he betrayed us. I don't understand. How did Gromna betray your team? It's a little complicated. But I've managed to piece it all together. I can tell you the whole story if you'd like. I don't have much time, but I'd like to hear your story. I'll keep it brief. After we were captured, the Queen was set to execute us, but Grona convinced the Queen to let us live, although now I wish we had been killed swiftly instead of suffering through Grona's so-called surgeries. I don't understand. How does this surgery fit into the Insectoid's plans? It doesn't. Grona has his own agenda. He seeks to unlock the secret of immortality. The insectoids have a greater metabolism than us, so he hopes to merge the two species and then use cybernetic enhancements in order to live forever. We're his experiments. His failures. We've been assigned to work here until we die. Why do you stay here? Why not just escape? We are part insectoid. We must obey the Queen's will, whether we want to or not. I suppose it doesn't matter anyway. One of the unfortunate side effects of merging our two species is Dementia. Soon, I'll be quite mad, just like the rest. What do you do here? I tend to the clones, monitoring their life signs. When they are near the end, I must call for a drone to remove it and carry its body down to the furnace. Then another drone brings up another clone. I do what I can to make their short lives a little less painful. It saddens me to see them suffer so. How does this thing work? It's basically a large transfusion machine. Blood is drawn out of the clones and fed to the Queen. Is there any way to shut it down? Not that I know of. Gromna built it himself with some strange parts. Only he knows how it truly works. Raven's tools. Hmm. A piece of machinery. I hope this is what Raven wanted.
a sound generator. Huh? Oh, great! Now I'm stranded here! Sorry. This flimsy stuff wasn't made to support my weight. Crap. A piece of machinery. I hope this is what Graven wanted. Oof. Where did you find this? It was powering some type of machine that drained the blood out of the children and fed the queen. This is awful. How could I have been so wrong about Gromna? DNA test cycle initiated. Perfect! Exactly. No! Molecular cohesion negative. What is it? It appears to be a miniature wormhole. Where does it lead? Nowhere right now. Think of this as a hallway with only one door open. Until another door can be opened, this doesn't lead anywhere. What about the second missing piece? That could be it. Wherever it is, you must hurry and find it before the peace treaty tomorrow. Something tells me that it's nothing more than a clever disguise for a more sinister plot. A sound generator. have to climb up there somehow. After long ages of waiting, the time has come. Today you assemble as outsiders, invaders. Tomorrow, your troops will sweep down upon the city in a murderous wave of retribution. For too long, you have known suffering. You have dwelt beneath the surface and watched your aggressors live in lands where you once lived. Will you remain underground forever? Can you endure this terrible injustice for one more day? For well, I am one of them. I too have been oppressed by your enemy. They laughed at me and my work. The very work which has given you your new cybernetic enhancements. The technology which will mow down all opposition in the coming war. The work which will allow you to overrun the capital city of Gronterra and assume your rightful place as rulers of this planet. Your planet! Your time has come. Tomorrow's end will see the end of the Cyclopean Age and the dawn of the Insectoids! Cameras broadcasting Gromna's vile words to the enemy masses. An image of the Cyclops planet. I must not let these bugs destroy my people. The Insectoid Queen. I will not rest until she is destroyed! Make your speeches now, traitor. You won't have breath for long. These poles are the same as those near the Great Machine. How are they connected? These controls are similar to those Graven used to create the portal.
Jeez. My god, that's it! All along, it's been so simple! Could it be? My god, that's it! All along, the answer has been right here! Right in front of my eyes the whole time! Now what? The whole damn hive will be bearing down on us any second now! Hold on, I figured it out. The second piece serves as a compass for the wormhole. With this I can open a doorway anywhere! I'm setting the coordinates for the chambers of the Peace Council. When we tell them about Gromna, they'll launch a preemptive nuclear strike against the Hive. That's it! 